Hello and welcome back to the Samantha Hearn channel, the place where we talk about how you can create a successful business and be happy doing it. In today's video, I'm talking to you about how you can shift your physical energy. This has been inspired by the fact that so many entrepreneurs work for themselves at home in an office and become really stagnant. And also in the things that I have done recently to change my physical energy and how it impacts my routines and my schedules. So in this video, I'm talking to you about physical energy. And the first thing that I want you to imagine is a house. And imagine your body as a house. Not every room in the house is used all of the time. But if you want to get rid of stagnant energy in your house, you'll open the windows, you'll let the fresh air in, you'll open the doors, and you'll make it free flowing. A lot of the time we don't do that for our physical bodies. So I want you to think about how many doors and rooms in your body are you keeping closed on a daily basis. For example, are you staying sat in your office for four hours at a time? You're not using your two legs, they're not getting any fresh air, they're not getting movement. If you're not having regular breaks, you're not giving your mind enough fresh air and movement. So I want you to imagine your body, first of all, as a house, and think about your body as lots of different rooms in your house. Are you allowing energy, fresh air, and movement flow around your body with ease? And the side note to this is, you can also use this metaphor and this visual representation when it comes to your emotions. Sometimes, when we have emotions that are difficult or challenging, we close the door and we keep them shut. By doing that, that emotion comes out, bangs on the door and tries to get your attention. If you keep the door open and you actually acknowledge the emotions you're feeling, it means they flow th flow freely through you too. So think of your emotions and your energy together. And when you're looking at your body and your energy, if you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, tired, just a bit fed up, the more you try and push through, the more that emotion is going to bang on that door and keep coming back to nudge you. So think about when you're working as an entrepreneur and you're working for yourself, and even if you're not, and you're in a job and you don't necessarily love everything about it, you can make some simple changes to your physical body, your emotional body, and allow energy and movement to flow three flow freely for you. This is a bit of a tongue twister. That's the first thing I want you to think about, the analogy of the house and the rooms in the house, like the areas of your body, how much of the time are you opening up those rooms to free flowing energy, movement, and just, oh yeah, movement. Just let the movement out. The next thing I want you to think about with physical energy is, can you actually pencil in periods of time in your day where you are doing movements that you wouldn't usually do? And this could also be fine motor movement, especially if you spend a lot of time typing or scrolling or on the phone or recording you would be using a lot of fine motor movements and that can also cause cramps and stiffness in your fingers and your wrists. So I want you to actually think about how you can move your hands in a completely different way. Could you actually get yourself like a stress ball, a sponge ball? Could you go and do some cooking? What can you do to use fine motor movements and keep your hands moving, the energy flowing through them, but not in the same way that you use them for your business and your job all of the time, every single day. And the reason these are so important is when you think about your physical energy. The third thing I want you to think about is where in your body are you storing tension or stress? Now this could come from your digestion. So some people hold a lot of anxiety and stress in their tummy and in their gut, which means that you could be more prone to IBS, you could have a lot more cramping, you could have problems with your digestive system and being able to go to the toilet, or you might actually hold a lot of your stress in your shoulders and in your neck, and therefore you feel really stiff by the end of the day and you just want to stress and you just don't feel great. I want you to think about in your body, where are your tension points? And you can do a very quick task, and we're going to do it together now, called body scanning. Usually a really good time to do this is when you first wake up or when you're going to bed. You just allow yourself to be completely still, you close your eyes, and you focus your attention from your head, gently across your face, down your neck and your shoulders, all the way down your body. And all you're doing is noticing where in your body is feeling tense or tight or have some pains. So body scanning is a good way for you to start checking in with your physical energy and where in your body are the tension points. What does that look like for you? How do they affect you? And once you realize where they are, you can start to think about opening those doors. 
like tip number one and thinking about how you can create movement through those parts of your physical body. And the fourth thing I want you to think about is how often are you allowing your body to be still? There will be periods of time where you're sitting at your desk, that isn't the same. There will be periods of time where you're on client calls, that isn't the same. How often are you allowing your body to be free from any pressure points, any load and just relax? So this could be when you are lying down. How often are you allowing yourself times of stillness? That is really important when you want to start increasing your physical energy. The times of stillness allow you to realize a few things. It allows you to think about all of the points I've given you previously, around the tension points, around the energy, around your body that needs opening up. It also allows your body time to reset. And you should be doing this at least three times a day. Resetting, pausing and being in a state of stillness. The other reason it's amazing to have this stillness is for your mind. Your mind needs time to be still. Your mind needs time to relax. So think about these things when you're thinking about your physical energy, how you can increase and enhance your physical energy in your entire body. And for me, when I experienced anxiety for a really long time, IBS was something that I really struggled with. So a lot of these tips I'm sharing with you come from personal experience and how by me focusing on opening the doors, allowing energy through, movement through my body, but also stillness has allowed me to take check regularly with how I feel and what my body needs. So I really, really hope that you are going to take forward these four different ideas around how you can increase your physical energy. And the more you can increase and enhance your physical energy, that will have an impact on your productivity. It will have an impact on your concentration, your decision making, and also just your general mental and physical well-being. I will see you in the next video, but I would love to ask you this question. What do you do currently to increase your physical energy. Leave it in the comments below so that myself and everyone else that watches this can have some pointers from you and we can start a conversation around physical energy, how you use it and what you do to enhance that for yourself. I can't wait to see you in the next video and genuinely, I'm so grateful that you are here and you're part of the Samantha Hearn YouTube channel family and I will see you in the next video.